If you've ever wondered how people move through crowds, don't wonder anymore. The Ig Nobel Prize in Physics for 2021 has been awarded for the answer to this question. It turns out that in crowds we more closely resemble a fluid than autonomous beings. But what does this even mean? Let's discuss it. If you've never heard of the Ig Nobel Prize before, it is a series of awards that is given out each year similar to the Nobel Prizes except that these are given out for achievements that first make people laugh and then make them think. The prizes are intended to celebrate the unusual, honor the imaginative, and spur on people's interest in science, medicine, and technology. Some of my favorite previous winners are Why Wombat's Poo is Square and Magnetic Levitation of a Frog. Every year there's always an exciting list of research in these prizes, so it is worth listening out for. This year, the prize for physics was given for physics-based modeling and data representation of pairwise interaction among pedestrians. The physics prize. For conducting experiments to learn why pedestrians do not constantly collide with other pedestrians. Physicists at Eindhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands analyzed 5 million pedestrian movements in the Eindhoven train station. They measured the pedestrian dynamics using a set of four overhead Xbox Kinect sensors. That's right, they used Xbox Kinects to measure the movement, which just happened to be able to be used as a depth camera using infrared detection. Out of these 5 million pedestrian movements, around 9,000 pedestrian pairs turned out to be on a collision course with each other. What they discovered was that people want to keep an average distance of about 75 centimeters. One of the scientists described it as, about 40 pairs of these actually bumped into each other. The remaining pairs adopted their walkway until they were at least 140 centimeters apart and were therefore able to prevent a collision. What they found is that they can model how people navigate in these scenarios using fluid dynamics. They said, to build a model, we found two social interaction forces that play the role. A long distance force based on vision and a short distance force to prevent hard contacts. As an effect of these forces, people modify their current paths to prevent collisions. Even using this very simple model, the scientists were able to get a very good estimate of the foot traffic. By understanding more of how humans navigate in crowds, the scientists hope to find ways to optimize walkways. In previous work, the scientists used light to try and direct pedestrian traffic. While a significant number of people followed the light, which is a promising sign for using light to improve pedestrian traffic, there were still a few wildcards that loved to live on the edge and chose not to follow the signs. Richard, look me in the eyes. Look me in the eyes. And you name our undoing leading to the method not yet being good enough to direct traffic. Still though, in this work they were able to direct 63% of people towards the desired direction, which is better than nothing. There is one burning question that still remains. So much so that the Nobel laureate who was awarding the prize asked it during the ceremony. The prize will be presented by Nobel laureate Marty Chalfie. It's a real pleasure to present you with this year's Ig Nobel Prize in Physics. Congratulations to all of you. I only have one real question though. Was this study done with or without cell phones? That's right. What is the effect of mobile phones? We have all been stuck behind that person who is barely walking while trying to text. Well, luckily, the Ig Nobel Prize for Kinetics was for Mutual anticipation can contribute to self-organization in human crowds, which was really a study showing the impact of people on phones in crowds. Here the scientists took a series of people and had them walk past each other. They wore different colored hats to help track their movement from different directions. Interestingly, they found that when two pedestrian fronts collide, they quickly form channels, suggesting that we don't navigate through crowds just by ourselves, but with a collective behavior where we use the people moving with us to make movement decisions, similar to a flock of birds. However, when phones are put into the mix, all hell breaks loose. 
As people with phones effectively lose their long-range interaction term from the physics prize, they travel on worse trajectories. So if a person with a phone is at the front, they ruin it for everyone, and these channels don't form. If they are in the back, however, they can coast along using the collective navigation of the group. We may not know what the best method for directing pedestrians is, but physicists are working on it, and I am sure we will see more interesting work in next year's Ig Nobel Prizes. Thanks for watching. Have fun. See you next time.